So I was just sitting here thinking about words, as I often do, and I was thinking about the words short-sighted and narrow-minded and their differences. And people often use these words interchangeably, but they shouldn't if they want to be more accurate. They use it to describe someone who's ignorant, but each word describes a different type of ignorance. And if you think about it, the fascinating part is that each word describes a different dimension of ignorance. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So let's take the word short-sighted first. Now, someone who is short-sighted literally is someone who can see things that are close to them or in front of them, but has trouble seeing distant objects like their eyesight. And to describe someone as short-sighted figuratively, um, describe someone who has trouble foreseeing the consequences of their actions or is unable to determine the results of a situation and they're not able to see how things will play out. They're too focused on the current moment and they're not looking ahead to the future. So that's the dimension of time going forward. Now let's take the word narrow-minded. Narrow being the opposite of wide deals with width. And it deals with the current moment and a current situation or a current behavior and all of the information involved, the range or breadth of a situation, if you will. And they're unable to see what's over here and over here because they're too focused on a narrow portion of the current situation. They're narrow-minded. They're not able to take into consideration all of the important details over here and over here, the width, the range, right? Narrow-minded. And so that deals with the dimension of width. And the word short-sighted deals with the dimension of time and going forward and looking into the future. And uh, they're not able to foresee how things will play out in the future. Narrow-minded, short-sighted. That's all. I just wanted to share that interesting thought I had. It's interesting. All right.